And that's how we got to the predicament that we're in. All right, so today's vlog is gonna be about, another day I talked about duty posts. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about bus duty. Bus duty is where you have to either A, you're doing it in the morning, or B, you're doing it in the afternoon. I've done my fair share morning, afternoon, and evening. It's not going to how evening goes, because that just sucks, because you have to wait on parents to show up. So the morning duty is gotta be the favorite and worst at the same time. Favorite because whenever I had to do morning duty, nobody wanted to talk, which for me is great, because I can sit back, have my cup of coffee, and just just enjoy the morning crisp morning air which is great until you know you have those winter days when it's like 15 degrees outside because i didn't have to i wasn't in the front of the school i had to go down by the street and wave to parents make sure nobody hit each other or the kids are walking across oh that was rough but then the afternoon duty make sure is got to be the worst uh when you're, when you're getting kids on a bus to leave the school because that is when everybody wants to try and fight. Why? Because everybody in school can see it. So do your due diligence and make sure you are on par if you're in a specific duty location, be in that duty location if you're in a specific, uh, if you just gotta pace back and forth, make sure you don't stop at all and check any and everywhere in between. Um, in the time that I've done this, I've seen everything or heard of everything from kids getting a fight in between buses, getting fights on the buses, people having sex under the bus. That was just wrong. Um, and to, uh, I know at least one time there was a weapon that was involved and we had to pull a kid off a bus. Uh, what else? Parents coming up thinking they can get on the bus. That was, that's crazy because... If you got a kid and you get on a bus full of a whole bunch of other people's kids and thinking that you can be the law, you got bigger problems than, than I'm going to be able to solve. So let me just call the police over and let them solve it for me. That's just crazy. Seriously, people are crazy. It's crazy. All right, so that's that. Another wonderful day at the office. Gonna go home, detox, watch some shows. Oh, speaking of which, oh. Uh, better late than never. If you guys have a chance to watch a show, best show ever. It has William Shatner, Terry Bradshaw, George Foreman, and Henry Winkler, and then this guy Jeff Dye, who's like their um, their enabler, who's just a young guy like myself, uh, taking these seasoned veterans out on the out on the road. Uh, Henry Winkler is like the. I get the executive producer, so he's the one who's coming up with everything, but it's the four of them going to Tokyo, this episode, it's the first episode I'm watching, they go to Tokyo to just, just go, go have fun, just experience the culture, and I'll tell you what, that, that is one of the funniest things I've ever seen, oh, it's just good TV, I would totally t hang out with both of them, t go to a bar, go around town, eat anything, experience just all of Tokyo with those two guys. That would be hysterical. Oh, good TV. Definitely got to watch that if you haven't watched it. Good, good stuff. All right, other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow. Later. Later.